Gene therapy. Gene therapy, an exciting new frontier in biotechnology, involves the use of nucleic acid as a drug to treat genetic disorders. The functional genes are used to replace defective or missing genes. Gene therapy has had clinical success since 2006 with diseases including Parkinson's and leukaemia. So how exactly does gene therapy work? The copy of the functional gene is packaged within a vector using recombinant DNA technology. The vector is used to deliver this gene into the patient's cell. Upon delivery, the cell's machinery uses the information to express functioning proteins for the gene. Several approaches to gene therapy are being tested, including replacing the defective gene with a healthy copy, knocking out the improperly functioning gene, or introducing a new gene to help fight the disease. There are two types of gene therapy, somatic gene therapy and germline gene therapy. Somatic gene therapy is the transfer of genes into somatic cells of a patient, such as the insertion of genes into the bone marrow, manipulating T cells to fight leukemia. The first therapeutic cure using gene therapy was for the ex-skid disease. In 2000, doctors successfully used gene therapy to treat severe immunodeficiency disease, also known as the bubble boy syndrome. It is an inherited disease carried on the X chromosome, which results in severely impaired immune system. Without treatment, infants would die within a year of birth due to even a benign viral infection. In the trial, the normal gene is transduced into the stem cells derived from the patient's own bone marrow. The transduced cells are then infused into patients. It was later noticed that three children from the trial developed leukemia. This is the result of the viral vector being inserted into the host genome near a proto-oncogene. This raised the difficult choice between the child dying from untreated immunodeficiency and the possibility of death due to cancer. Germline gene therapy is a much more controversial method. It involves the modification of germ cells. These germ cells will give rise to an organism expressing modification in targeted genes. This allows for a therapy which is heritable and can be passed to later generations. There is a great misconception amongst the general public that germline gene therapy is routine in humans. The process through which fertilised eggs are screened for genetic defects and the ability of parents to choose a fertilised egg based on sex is often misconstrued. Due to legislation and a cascade of ethical issues, Germline gene therapy has never been attempted on humans. However, studies have been conducted. Pronuclear microinjection has been used successfully to generate genetically modified mice, rabbits and other farmyard animals. Success observed on animal models teases the great potential of germline gene therapy for human applications, be it therapeutic or even enhancement. Regardless of a promising future, ethical and religious objections are often raised in regards to germline gene therapy. How can we distinguish between morally right and wrong uses of gene therapy? Will the high cost of treatment make gene therapy an option exclusive to the wealthy? Who decides which traits are normal and which constitute a disorder or disability? Could the widespread use make society deficient of diversity? Should we be allowed to enhance basic human traits like height, intelligence or even athletic ability? Genetic manipulation of germline cells is often viewed as playing God. The greatest concern is that germline gene therapy will inevitably lead us down a road to the genetic enhancements of human characteristics. Do we have a right to manipulate what many believe is the work of God? What about the resulting child's rights as an individual? Do the rights of a parent extend to such an extent that they can define the very fabric of their child's being? Even if we assume that germline gene modification will be limited to therapeutic uses, will its use be justifiable for all genetic defaults? Some genetic disorders are fatal with no effective treatments, whereas others are mild and medical treatments are available. The field of gene therapy is an exciting one. However, even as scientists, we must work while retaining our human core. Gene therapy has the potential to be a wonderfully gift-wrapped present, giving us therapies for genetic disorders which in the past had no treatment. However, on the flip side, it could be a Pandora's box. Opening it could lead us down a dark path of grey morality creating further divides in a fragile society.